you uh, talked earlier about the reading as part of your morning right. routine, right? That's important for personal growth, reading. Right. A lot of people get out of high school or college never crack a book again. Are you familiar with Robert Greene, 48 Laws of Power, et cetera? Are you familiar with him I, as I, an I've author? I've heard it. I, that's not, I'm going to add that one to my list. Amazing though. guy. Yeah. That book is War and okay. Peace. It's very long. Okay. I think it's like a nine-hour listen on Audible, okay. but he okay. has several others. Yeah, uh, yeah. Mastery is excellent. The Art of Seduction, awesome. which is about sales. It's not about getting people to sleep with you. Anyways, he talks about how we make a decision on someone within like the first five to ten seconds of meeting them. That's true. So let's let's take today, for example. You walk up the, the stairs. Uh, we got a little switched on which building, right? But you walk right up the stairs, broad shoulders, open, right? Body body language, right. Steve Black, right? Oh, okay. So the decision, I don't know how I presented, but it's probably something similar. Smile, right. energy, bringing it. Thank you for your right. time. Do you believe that that's true? That in sales, people are making their decisions, especially if you meet them face to face, you have got to arrive. You have to look the part sound this part, smell the part. You you have to be the show when you meet someone in person to present yourself as, I'm the best realtor, I'm the best roofer, I'm the best hitman. Whatever service you're selling them, right. you have got to arrive and put on that that face. Is that important in your opinion? Do you teach that? Absolutely. You know, and, and, and you know, when we talk you know, traditional sales, step, step one, get in rapport with people. It's look them in the eye, it's the handshake, it's the smile. It's your presence, uh, you know, in the in in the trades. You know, I I I've helped companies, you know, re redesign what they do. They want their techs out there selling. They want you know the plumber. He wants to take his average ticket from you know 150 to 400, but he's got guys with dirty shirts showing up. You know, the 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 lady of the house doesn't want to be in the house with them. So so they work through their branding. They work through their social media. It starts with a well pressed shirt. You know, it's tucked in, and then you know they're laying things down house looks better when they came in and then they're taking the they're getting video testimonials from the customers that are talking exactly about that hey we had a wonderful experience with john's plumbing the rep showed up on time he presented himself well he cleaned up and he got the job done right and all of a sudden because even though john was 20 percent more it didn't matter because the service was there and and but you got to walk your talk, you know. If you're the best barbecue in town, it better be good barbecue because people are going to talk. But how do you use social media? You could amplify it. You know, you get written testimonials, video testimonials. I would tell every business owner that's listening to us get two testimonials in the next three months from in the next thirty days from your your clients. When you're with somebody, give them a heads up. Blame it on me. Hey, I'm working with this guy, Steve Black, Coach Steve. He challenged me to get a video. I know you can't do it today, but next week I'm going to see you. I just want to give you a heads up. I'm asking you to do a quick video. And then it's like, what do you want me to say? Just say that, hey, we were on time. We weren't the lowest price, you're, but you're glad you went with us because the service was outstanding. You know, I'm your roofer for life. And you know what? It's worth a million bucks if you do it right. Yeah, it yeah. sells itself. Are you always networking? I mean, if you're at the bar tonight, are you talking to the person next to you while you're eating your, your smoked salmon and using forum on them, right? Family, occupation, yeah. recreation, yeah. motivation. Are, are you always doing that? Or do you have some shutdown time where it's just to yourself? Or if you're in public, do you are you pretty much always on? Uh, a little bit of all of it, yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the guy out there always looking for business. I'm gonna get to know people as people if I'm at the bar. But it is gonna be the family occupation, uh, recreation. You know, Zig taught me. You know, listen. God gave you two ears, one mouth. Did it for a reason, so you listen twice as much as you talk. And you know, and, and people notice it. You know, I'll be with a group of people and I'll start a conversation. I'll say, I like really liked how you did that. And I'll say, well, I read this book or I took this class. You might want to look at it. And 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 there's nothing. And you know, then another thing is, you know, personality types. You know, one of the things that I, that we teach and and is 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 ex expansion of what the disc profile is. And you know, you you, you sound like you you're very trained in sales. And you, know, you got people that are either very outward or they're reserved. You know, they're more logical or they're people oriented. Well, naturally, you're going to get along well with the people that that are like you. You know, like I could already tell, we get along good. You know, we're both outgoing. We both like people. We both like marketing. You know, we can leave here and go have a beer and have a good time. But you know, there, there's the comptroller that may, might run this place, and you know, he didn't. You know, he he doesn't want to look me in the eye. Doesn't shake my hand. It doesn't mean he doesn't like me. But I have to recognize what I'm dealing with. You know, with an analytical personality, I'm going to slow it down. 
I'm going to give them the data they want. And then you know what? If they want more data, I'm going to give it to them. You know, with, with a salesperson, the gal today I was, that signed up for my program, I looked at her. I gave her her ticket for the Success Summit seminar, and I said, take a picture of it. She goes, yeah, I'll lose it. I could tell right away <laughs> that she was what I call the I personality. You yeah. know, She wants people, hey, I'm going for a latte. Where did I put my purse? And I, but I recognized that at fun. And my clothes on her wasn't going to make money. I'm going, it's going to be fun, and you're going to meet a lot of people. She goes, that makes sense. You know, so you got to learn to sell different people different ways. You know, I'm going to sell Ross Perot differently than I would a nurse or teacher. And, and when you understand who you are and how, what those people's triggers are, you can triple your sales just with that.